Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will find the derivative of each functions. So the first one is f of x is equal to 10 minus x plus 12 over x raised to 5. So what we're going to do is to get the derivative of each term. So what we're going to do, so isa -isa natin, no? we're going to find the derivative. So f prime of x is equal to, so kunin natin yung derivative ng 10, Minus yung derivative ng x plus yung derivative ng uh, 12 over x raised to 5. So we all know if uh, the given is constant, automatic the derivative is 0. And then this one, copy the sign, uh, the minus sign. And then what is the derivative of x? That is 1 plus what is the derivative of 12 over x raised to 5? So this is x raised to 5, no? So it should be exponent yung 5. So para makuha natin yan, ang gagawin natin, 12 times, okay, yung x raised to 5, iaakyat natin sa numerator. So maging x raised to negative 5. Then after that, so 0 minus 1 is negative 1 plus Okay, so kunin na natin yung derivative nito, negative 5 times 12, that is negative 60, x raised to, so negative 5 minus 1, so di ba magma-minus tayo sa exponent, so negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6, and then copy, so substitute, uh, distribute natin yung operation natin, yung positive sign sa loob, so copy negative 1, Positive times negative, that is negative 60. X raised to negative 6. So, ito plus, since bawal nga tayo magkaroon ng negative exponent, ang gagawin natin, ibababa natin yan. So, magiging, copy lang yung negative 1, negative 1 minus 60 over X raised to 6. Kung mga binaba lang natin tong exponent natin. So, this is the, derivative of our first given. So, what negative 1 minus 60 over 6. Uh, minus 60 over x raised to 6 rather. And next we have f of x is equal to 5x squared minus 2x. So, we all know, uh, kahit din na natin isulat ito, we all know that the derivative of this Okay, para makuha natin yung derivative ng 5x squared, ito, si 2, i-multiply natin kay 5. So, 2 times 5, that is 10. Copy yung x. And then, yung 2, babawasan natin ng isa, so magiging 1 na lang. And then, dito, pagdating dito, copy lang yung sign, minus. So, we all know kapag wala kayong nakikita na exponent, automatic may 1 yan, di ba? So, 1 times negative 2, that is 2. So, pag binawasan natin to ng 1, magiging 0 na. So, the final answer will be 10x. So, ito hindi na natin nilalagay, no? Yung 1 exponent. So, the f prime of x is 10x minus 2. Okay, next. Uh, h of x is equal to x raised to 25 minus 3x squared. Okay, 3x raised to 22 rather plus 4. So, kunin natin yung derivative nito. So, isa-isay natin. D over dx. Kasi, uh, kunin pa natin yung x 25. And then, minus. Kunin natin yung derivative nito. Ng 3x raised to 22. Plus. So, ang derivative ng constant natin ay 0. So, hindi natin ilagay. So, Next, so we, this is h prime of x. So what is the derivative of x raised to 25? So si 25, multiply natin dito. So anong nakalagay dyan? That is 1. 25 times 1 is 25. Copy yung x. And then si 25, babawasan natin ng isa. So that will be x raised to 24. Copy yung minus sign natin. So, dito tayo. What is the derivative of 3x raised to 22? So, ito, again, multiply natin dito. So, 3, 22 times 3, that is 66, no? 
Okay, so that will be 66. Then copy yung x. So, babawasan natin yung 22 ng isa. So, magiging 21. So, since 0 na to, this will be now the answer. 25 x raised to 24 minus 66 x raised to 21. Next, we have t of x is equal to 8 x cubed plus 24 x squared minus 16 x plus 4. So, kunin natin yung derivative ng bawat isa. So, what is the derivative of 8x cubed? So, ito yung mamultiply kay 8. 3 times 8, that is 24. Copy yung x. Babawasan natin yung 3 ng isa. So, magiging 24x squared. Copy yung plus sign. Then ito, kunin natin yung derivative nito. 2 times 24, that is 48. Copy din yung x. So, babawasan natin ng isa to magiging 1 na lang. So, hindi na natin ilalagay yung 1 dyan. So, minus, so, di ba, pag ganito, meron siyang 1 exponent. So, 1 times negative 16, that is negative 16 na lang. And then, this constant, automatic 0 yon So, this will be the answer. 24x squared plus 48x minus 16. Okay. I think this is the last uh, question for this video. We have y is equal to x raised to 6 plus 4x to the 5th minus 14x to the 4th plus 24x cubed minus 16x squared plus 4x plus 5. So, kunin natin yung derivative nito isa-isa. What is the derivative of x raised to 6? So, 6 times 1, di ba kapag wala tayong numerical coefficient dito, ito may 1 yan. 6 times 1 is 6. Copy yung x. So, ito babawasan ng isa. So, magiging... 5 na lang. So, 6 x raised to 5. Copy yung plus sign. 5 times 4, that is 20. Copy yung x. Bawasan ng isa yung 5, maging 20 x to the 4th. Minus 4 times 14. What is the answer? That is 76. Tama ba, no? 16. Uh, 4 times 4, 16. 4 times 4. Uh, that, wait. So, again, what is the answer? 14 times 4. That is 56, no? Okay, 56 pala. Okay, minus 56. And then after that, okay, after that, we will have, okay, negative 14x to the 4th. That is 56x cubed. Kasi bawasan natin ito ng isa. And then plus, what is 24 times 3? So, 24 times 3 is 72. Okay, that is 72. Copy yung x. So, ito magiging 2 na lang. Okay? Kasi bawasan natin ang isa minus 2 times 16. 2 times 16 is 32. X. X na lang, no? Kasi uh, 2 minus 1, so 1 ang may iwan. Plus... 1 times 4, that is 4. Okay, so this will be the answer. 6x to the 5th plus 20x to the 4th minus 56x cubed plus 72x squared minus 32x plus 4. So this will be the final answer.